Last night at around 10 p.m., Nesawiya, a feminist group in Lebanon, were holding a farewell party for one of their members. Their headquarters are in Manam Khayel, on the ground floor of a building. At the same time, Kateb MP Nadim Jmail was at Manam Khayel having dinner. Reports claim that clashes erupted between members of Nesawiya and Jmail's bodyguards, and there are conflicting and completely opposing reports from both sides. Earlier today, we spoke with MP Nadim Jmail about the incident, and this is what he had to say. Yesterday, my convoy was attacked uh, by a group of uh, undisciplined demonstrators using stones and stick. And uh, just for you to know that my security team took extreme professional measures to stop the attack. And uh, as you know, and it's worth noting that our country is today going, th is going through a very critical political and security phase. And any minor incident uh, like this one could lead to a larger ramification or any other complication. So we were obliged to take uh, extreme measures to avoid unfortunate incidents. And uh, that's, what, uh, that's what was done last night with uh, utmost professionalism. And uh, I can assure you that uh, we made sure that no one was hurt in any way possible. Right. Let me just say one thing. A lot of these, the, the reports that are coming out on Twitter, and I think we should address those, are basically saying that you were there having dinner. Am I correct? Yes, I was in one of the restaurants, not in this one, but I, I was in a uh, few meters uh, uh, away from the Nasawi headquarters. From, the, from where, yeah, exactly, from where the incident happened. What they are saying that one of your bodyguards went in and not announcing himself and asked them to stop filming and taking photos as they were doing a farewell party. Is that is that true? There was some pictures. There was there, my convoy. My convoy was being taken in picture. There was picture taking of my convoy, and uh, one of my security team entered the restaurant and asked them, please don't take picture of the convoy. And as you know, you're a media team, and you know very well that... Were you, were you in the convoy, or were you at the no, restaurant? No, I wasn't in the car. The car was parked. Right. And uh, you know very well, as, as media, as a media correspondent, you know very well that it's very, compl it's very delicate to, to take pictures of any security convoy. And uh, when someone entered the, 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 uh, the restaurant where the farewell party were ha was happening, the people knew very well that this guy was one of the security of the convoy. So he, even though he didn't clarify very, uh, very clearly that he was one of Mr. X. Uh, he didn't introduce uh, who he was, basically. Yeah, he, they knew very well that he was one of, uh, of my security team. However, how do, okay, how do you explain that one of the bodyguards pulled out one of their weapons and handgun and threatened the members? Is this true? I don't, I don't know how much the threatening is true. Uh, however, I can assure you that when you have 30 people attacking a convoy, uh, the guns, uh, uh, it's the minimum of uh, what, what a security team can do by pulling out their weapons and uh, pulling back all the people that were that was attacking the car by stones and stick. And I want to assure you one more time that no one was hurt in any way possible. There was no, there was no uh, uh, fire. There was no. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, according according to according to many statements, they're saying that the police fired two shots in the air. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Our, it's not my concern. It's the police. Did okay. something it wasn't it wasn't my concern i know that my my security team uh did a very professional work without hurting anyone they're saying that they, they do they do say that everybody went home safe thankfully however all i wanted to get from you is basically why are they they're saying that they did not attack that demonstrations were peaceful you 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 disagree with that no, I, did, I don't agree with that. There, there were, there, it's clear that my cars were, were hit by stones and stick. It's clear it's taken into picture, and uh, we, we saw uh, the, 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 all the pictures are now in the hand of the police and the judge. On the line with us now is activist Nadine Mawad. Nadine, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Nadine, can you tell me how the clash has started yesterday, please? Because we want well, to hear your version of the story now that we've heard MP Nadim Jmail's well, we completely reject all of these lies that are being circulated by the team of Mr. Jumayil. We did not attack the convoy with sticks or stones or bottles like was reported but how, in the media. But how did it, tell me how the clashes began exactly. Like, what exactly happened? You were at the farewell party, and then? We were throwing a party, and we are not a restaurant. We are an activist organization, and this is our headquarters. 
this man came into the place and said, you have to stop filming because no reason. And we said, who are you? And he said, it's not of your concern, just stop filming. So we saw that the road was completely blocked outside with cars, and we went outside to see who is this person. Immediately, they started cursing at us and talking to us like dogs and telling us to go inside right now. It's none of your, our concern. And we asked, who, what is this, a convoy? He said, there's a, um, this is an did MP you know, convoy. Did you, know at the time, did you know at the time that there was an MP there, or did you just think that these were just security guards attacking you? Or did you know that there was a, pol a politician who was perhaps maybe looking for his own sake and his own we safety? We did not know at the beginning what you was happening know. because right. they refused to tell us. And it is our right as citizens in this country when someone who is not wearing any security clothes comes to come in and, and tell says, you, explain. Okay. I'm blocking the road in front of your space. And basically and say, Nadine, I'm not can you tell to tell you who I am? I and know that you were. Minutes, you I just, know, I just want to. He I just, had pulled I just, a machine gun. Right. I just want to, I just want to interrupt you for one sec because I know that there have been very recent developments as of today because you were at the police headquarters. And can you tell us what those developments are? We went to the police headquarters this morning after we were held inside the space for over three hours last night. As the media spread lies that 50 men were attacking the convoy, we were 12 young people, men and women, and we did not attack. We are peaceful activists, and our history and our credibility shows for this. We do not have sticks or stones. We didn't attack anybody. All we wanted to know was, who are you? Within two minutes, they had pulled machine guns at us. We went inside and waited for two hours for the police to clear them. By then, supporters of Mr. Jmail had gathered and had thought that we were attacking them and wanted to attack what us. Happened, and what happened this morning us. at the police station? What, was, what, what morning, did they tell you? We went, we went at 9 a.m. in the morning, okay. and we underwent investigation, seven of us, and we told our stories, and we showed our photos, and the footage shows, and the neighborhood, the entire neighborhood witnessed what had happened. And we asked the police, we went through the official channels with our lawyer, and we wanted to hold Mr. Jmail and his bodyguards accountable. And I'm very surprised that he shows absolutely no intent of accountability well, Nadine, what do you think happened. is the solution to this? Uh, is, what, what do you expect right now? Right now, five people, they detained the men, and they let the two women, myself and Farah Salah, they let us go. They forced us to leave. We didn't want to leave. And they did not clarify for us why they put our friends, five men, five young men, in jail. And up until this minute, we can't get any information from the police. We don't know what the charges are. And uh, these men are basically held there. And right now, we are gathering in front of the police station in Jamaize to protest this totally arbitrary violation of our rights, not only where we attacked and terrorized and guns pointed in our face for the first time in my life. But well, also, we were being held and questioned, and we pressed charges against these people, okay. and we hold Mr. Jemayel personally accountable for, for what happened, and we ask him thank that you. he has thank to... You, thank uh, you, Mr. Mawad. We're, we're going to follow up on this issue. Thank you so much for talking to us today and telling us your side of the story.